Good evening, War is on a mission. Yes, it's our great day of Tuesday. Another day that God has set aside for him to get glory. And I know by now you've already figured this thing out. Seven days a week belong to God. Every minute, every hour belongs to God. So I'm sure you're at a place in your mind already that whatever I may be facing, it belongs to God. So tonight, this is probably not going to be a long one. God gave me this word. And I want to share this word with you all just to be encouraged. I know we're living in a time frame right now that there's like mass confusion. You look on the news, there's mass confusion. Um, if you were brought up in church or you've been around the word of God a lot in your life and you've been instructed and raised off the word and the principles of the word of God, well, you're not seeing a lot of that out of your eyesight in the world. And I know that looks confusing. And so God has given me something on tonight. Uh, he dropped this scripture into my, in my spirit and I looked it up and here we are. If you look at Psalms, the 119th division of Psalms, we're looking at just one verse tonight. 105. The 119th division of Psalms, verse 105. And this, this scripture right here, it speaks to me. And to every child of God, you know, like I said, we're living in a time frame right now that people are, in all honesty, the majority... And I'm talking world and saved and I'm talking everybody. The majority are still trying to find what to do next. And many aren't asking God, what's next? What should I do, Father? What Many are not doing that. And I thank God for a reminder like this. Because it helps put, for me, life back into focus. Um... And honestly, I've gotten to the point where I've bumped my head enough in life that I really do try to go to God with just about every decision because I'm tired of bumping my head. And so follow me to the 119th division of songs. We're just looking at one verse, verse 105. And then we're going to read it and then go into prayer. And it says, this is out of the King James Version. It says, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you, God, for a powerful word. I thank you, God, for a reminder. I thank you, God, for being present always. I thank you, God, for speaking to our spirit. I thank you, God, for sending us an encouraging word. I thank you, Father, for giving us direction. I thank you, Father, for encouraging us to stay in the fight. I thank you, God, for all that you do with your loving, caring spirit. I thank you. Thank you that you don't leave us to the wolves, but you've given us promises after promises that we can truly trust in. So thank you, God, for every single blessing. I'm asking God that you will break this word down in such a way that it will speak to all those you have ordained to watch this war is on a mission. Speak to our spirit. Encourage us in areas that, Father, only you know about. And give us the reminders, God. The only the way that you know how to do it that will satisfy our, our, our wanting to know. And I thank you, God, for doing it. For it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, let's go back to, again, for those that may be just tuning in, it's the 119th division of Psalm. We're looking at just one verse. This is what God gave me. It says, this is verse 105, <clears throat> 119th division of Psalm, verse 105. It says, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Let's look at this. When it says the word is a lamp unto my feet. Well, in order for a lamp to be used, it has to be dark, okay? In order for a lamp to be used and used properly, it has to be dark. And so when we look at this verse, this portion of the verse, and it says the word is a lamp unto my feet, that's telling me this is instructions from God to let me know that I must, in order to know how to uh, uh, guard my feet and knowing how to maneuver, with my feet, knowing which direction to turn, I must 
the wise way of doing it, I must go to God and allow God's word to speak to me. Now, how does God's word speak? It speaks, of course, by if you read it long enough, you'll learn God's nature. You read it long enough, you'll understand what God is intending for the body of Christ. But also to take it even more to a current situation, the word, I always end up going back to this. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Now, the Holy Spirit is on the inside. And so when the Holy Spirit speaks to us, that's when you and I we should step left, right. And not in the, not saying that every step, <clears throat> if you're going to the restroom and you're sitting in your living room, you don't need God to tell you how to place your left and right. You see what I'm saying? I'm not saying every single step to when you're going from A to B in, in a natural sense. But when you're trying to find out what to do in the spiritual, and when you're trying to find out, God, what should I do next? How do I conquer this situation? What should I do? Then you allow the Holy Spirit to speak. And the word is the lamp which, and to my feet. And so when I ask God to speak, then God is going to move me in the direction that is most beneficial for one, for him to get glory, but also for the purpose he's ordained for me and he created me for. And so knowing that, then that means that I'm using the word of God, the Holy Spirit, to lead and lamp and be a light to my feet. Which means if I allow the Holy Spirit to lead me, it's, it's guiding my every footstep, which means I should not stumble and fall into the pitfalls that the devil has set. When the Holy Spirit is leading me, the Holy Spirit is going to say, no, that's not for you. No, that's not for you. No, that is for you. Go that direction. That's what the, that's the difference when the Holy Spirit leads versus me trying to figure out, and I go knock at this door, bust that door in, find out now I've wasted five years on something that was never meant for me. Then I get back in the hallway, go knock on that door, bust that door in, and I go down through about 20 doors, and now I'm exhausted. I've wasted about 30 years, and now God shows me the door that's behind me that I never once looked at. And then I walk into that, and now I'm exhausted, I'm tired, and 30 years has passed. But when I allow God to maneuver me, God will say, none of those 29 belongs to you. But if you turn around, I know that door is dusty, and it looks like nobody has gone through it. The reason being, I left it for you. Turn around, go turn the knob, that's the blessing I got for you. And so when it says, the word is a lamp, and to my feet. We just discussed that. And a light unto my path. Now, when we're following God and you understand the nature of God and you start to understand God, everything you do lines up. Everything that you have given me, everything you have presented me, God, it always going to line up with the words that you've already spoken. It's already going to line up with your nature. It's not going to have sin in it. Let's break it down to the practical terms. It's not going to have sin in it. It's not going to be sin driven. It's not going to be if you just steal from this one, I'm going to bless you back with double foot. No, it don't, it don't work that way with God. And so when you understand that it's saying, and a light unto my path, that means that once again, just like talking about the door that God held open just for you, you'll also be able to look at that thing and say, God, I see 25 paths. Which ones did you choose for me? And that path will be lit up. Reason being is because the Holy Spirit is going to lead you. And you're saying, God, why do I have to move from my hometown to go all the way cross country to, to, to go mm -hmm. to this particular place? Well, the reason God did that is because he has a path already lit up specifically for you. And the only way you're going to get to that path, if you go back to the first part of that verse and let the word be a lamp to your feet. And if you allow the Holy Spirit to move your, your move, the, to orchestrate your movement, then he's already has a path. If you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you, then as you're walking, you're going to see the path that God has lined up for you. And the path may not look like something you want. Let's be honest. The path may not look like something you want, but when God is leading you, he will give you the press 
that you need and the uh 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 here you here here be able to reassure you that that's the path that I have chosen for you. And so when you begin to walk down that path, you will also have a peace that surpasses all understanding. It doesn't mean there won't be obstacles on that path, but it just means that while you're at that path and you may see some obstacles because, again, the word is leading your feet even down the path, then you're seeing, but God will prepare you for the obstacles or the, pops, the obstacles will not do you any harm. So when you look at this situation right here, I pray that this makes complete sense to you that do not make decisions by your head knowledge. Please go to God, ask God, wait on God for him to lead you, lead your steps and allow the word to be a lamp to your feet and a light unto your path. Let God lead you and do not move until God moves you and lets you know it's okay to go to this path that I've illuminated for you. Amen? Amen. That's what God gave me. Let's go into prayer. Heavenly Father, once again, I thank you. And now God, even make this even more practical. That God, when situations come where we have to make a decision, that God, we will indeed come to you and wait for you to give us the answer. God, I thank you, Father, for all that you have done for the body of Christ. I thank you, Father, for how you've reassured the believers, the Christians, to let us know, God, that you will not lead us astray. You will speak. You will lead. You will guide us. And that's what you want. So, God, I thank you. I, 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 I thank you from the depths within, God, that you never leave us and never forsake us, but you will answer us and will lead us. And God, thank you for it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Get Y'all listen, God truly wants to lead us and he will do it. Trust him and I promise you, you will not go wrong. I love y'all. God's willing. I catch you on Sunday. Get back in your word and if God got more... Listen, he'll give you more than what he gave you gave me tonight. Get in your word some more and allow God to speak specifically to you. Amen. Amen. And he will do that. I love y'all. God's willing. I'll catch you on Sunday. Amen.